she never loved you. You know, guys, I go through a lot of illness, lots of illness, and I feel like it's a good time. It's an opportunity to really share with you, you know, perspective, you know. I mean, at the time of recording this for you guys, I'm feeling very bad, very, very awful. And I share that with you because I it's something I've been thinking about for a while, that, you know, women were not designed to live without husbands. The craziest and saddest thing about women in relationships is that, you know, if you look at the guys who get M2'd, those guys, unless you know, Chad's and Tyrone's, right? You know, who are not wealthy. These guys don't get M2'd. These guys do not get M2'd. I, I want to just to just notice it. What was the last time you heard of an M uh, of a Chad getting M2'd? Or a Tyrone getting M2'd, who wasn't wealthy. The truth of the matter is that once you become a plan B guy to a woman, you know, if you're not a Chad or a Tyrone, right, then you will always be a plan B guy. You will always be a plan B guy. Even men who are extremely good looking, unless you are an indefinite Chad or an indefinite Tyrone, you will always be a plan B guy. And she will always see you as nothing more than a beta male provider whom is there for her use and then to be discarded. And it's a sad reality. And it's crazy because most women will not have husbands going forward. You know, come 2030, 40% of women in Western society will be single and childless between the ages of 25 and 44. So we're not even talking about the women who are going to be in their 50s and 60s, late 40s, 50s and 60s at that point. 40% 40 of all women in the United States will be, will be single and childless. We're not even talking about that other group of women who are in their fifth, who will be in their late 40s and 50s, 60s. 40% of all women will be childless and single. Come 2040, come 2030. And of course, don't it's not just like we're gonna hit 2030 hits and like, oh, that's now if now it's the effects are suddenly there. No, it's gonna be a gradual thing. You know, the floor is falling out on the economy. The millennial generation, they can't hold this economy forever, they can't work forever. A lot of these people started working when they were young. They put a lot of effort and a lot of energy in trying to build something. And they've been working and going and pushing and pushing for, for, for decades. They cannot continue living like this. You know, the boomers, the boomers basically think they're just going to ride off into the sun and leave younger generations to carry the bill, to foot the bill. It doesn't work like that. People break down. Okay? People break down. Women think that they're going to keep on being able to live off the simp economy or passing on the bill to men, shaming men when they don't get what they want. And that's when men basically just say, I'm done. And they stop listening. You know, when women have, when, you know, a woman is facing health issues, when she has C-A-N-C-E-R, that's when she wants her husband. When she's, when she's, you know, when she's very ill, and she needs someone to care for her. That's when she wants her husband. When things are not going right and she's sad or broken and she needs someone to comfort her, that's when she wants her husband. Okay? But outside of that, she always will go back to the streets because that is her one and true love. You know? The excitement that the streets give to her. It stimulates her emotions. It brings her positive and negative emotions. It's exciting. And it's just, it's an unfortunate reality, but it is a reality that we have to accept as men. That she never loved you to begin with. You know, a lot of guys think that they had the, the most perfect relationship. They'll say that they know their wives love them. And then after 25 years, she suddenly divorces them. And basically, they you know, takes half their stuff and the family is destroyed. 
And now these men, some of these men are in their like 60s and 70s, and they just never understood. They don't understand what happened. They don't understand what happened. And the reason is they never saw it coming because the woman had already divorced them, sometimes years in advance, psychologically. She had already made the decision that she was going to break up with them, that she was going to leave the marriage. All of that stuff was done in advance. So she's already psychologically separated herself from them. So when they're trying to like speak to her and try to like, what can we do to fix the relationship? The relationship was over a long time ago. Sometimes she already has her side man already there. In fact, she never left him. But a lot of men don't understand the way women think. And women don't want men to understand how they think. Because if men understood how they think, when men understand how women think, and when men try to, you know, flip things back on women, this is the reason why women don't like soft guy era. Because soft guy era is men basically saying that we know exactly how you think, and we're going to use your same tactics right back at you. And then that's why they start saying that, you know, oh, these men are down low brothers because they want to act like women, the female behavior. You see, bad behavior. In other words, behavior that women will not tolerate from men, men must tolerate from women because that is acceptable female behavior, but that's not acceptable behavior when it's done by a man. Do you see that? I've said this already. If men treated women the way that women treat men, society would never tolerate it. Society would never tolerate it. And when women get even just a slight taste of that, all right, even even men who are just trolling them, they can't handle it. And when hard times really do arrive, women are not going to have a bailout this time. Many of you believe that the government will always bail women out. Guys, we're broke. There is not enough money to bail women out of this, to pay their rent, to pay their food expenses, to completely subsidize their living, guys. There's not enough money to bail them out. You can see what happened the last time when they printed all of this phony money. Okay? You can see the consequences of printing money. Many of you refuse to accept it because you think that the government, the state, will always bail women out, and it's not going to happen like that. We're going to look at it years from now, and we're going to say, society is going to say, how did women end up in Western society in the terrible state that they are in because they're going to it's going to it's going to be very bad you know the levels of poverty destitution you know homelessness for a, a variety of other things it's already it's already there women have the women, young women 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 who, who are in their 20s and early 30s have the lowest lifespan of all women over the last 100 years they have the highest rates of mortality during pregnancy. They have the highest rates of control alt deletion. They have the highest rates of self control alt deletion. So they have their highest rates of self of control alt delete being control alt deleted, or they have the highest rates of self control alt deletion. It's crazy. Okay, they have the lowest well being in the last one hundred years, despite all the inroads in, made in terms of education and all the feminism. The, you know, they have the the least the lowest levels of happiness going back to almost the 1990s and every single year their happiness grows lower and lower so they're less happy it's and it's guys it's it's you, you, i mean men have to survive men survive because they have to no one cares about our pain no one cares about our suffering no one no one gives a damn no one in fact it may, gives it gives women the ick now women have developed this thing called the ick Oh, if a man doesn't give them money, he, he gives her the ick. It's another way of shaming men, right? And there's no accountability. Men are blamed for everything. Society is going downhill. Men are being blamed for it. But they don't talk about women. They don't talk about women being accountable. They don't talk about women contributing more to the economy. They don't talk about responsibility. They don't talk about any of this because it will always fall back on men. That's how society is designed. Men will always be the held, the ones held responsible. So women have women have all of this, you know, all of this uh, power today. You know, they can basically they have tons of authority. So they have authority. They have rights and authorities. They have rights and authority, 
but they don't have responsibility or accountability. Okay? Men have increasingly been stripped of their rights, but they have responsibilities. They have responsibilities with no authority and and their rights are increasingly being taken away, violated or just are just ignored. You know? So what is that called? That's called slavery. You know, responsibility responsibility and accountability without authority or rights is slavery. You have no rights. You have no rights, you have no authority, but you have tons of responsibility and accountability. That's slavery, okay? Women have special privileges, men have special punishments. It's a re- and it's a sick reality, but that's the reality we live in, guys. And women are not women are going to feel it's good the hardships they're going to face because they're not going to have a husband. They're not going to have husbands. They're not you know society betrayed men. At some point during the nineteenth century, twentieth century, we decided that you know we we're going to create a society where every man could find a woman, could get be in a relationship, and it would create stability. And men basically stuck to their, you know, they stuck to that social contract. Men basically said, okay, well, I'm going to go out, I'll work, I will I will contribute to society, I will protect my society, all right, for love and country, and, you know, love of family and country, and th- those are things I'm going to protect, right? Because this is what the society has given to me. Society has taken that away. Men no longer have authority, all right? The country has betrayed them. So their country has betrayed them, and the women in their and society have turned their, have betrayed them. So they have no family, they have no, they have no family, they have no country, right? Their country, I mean, then what then what, what do you think is going to happen? That's the social contract was broken. Because historically, only around 30% of men reproduced, even going back to the 1800s. All right, this 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 model that we have, it actually emerged after WW two. Right, and another very important thing to consider is that seventy million come twenty, come twenty. I think it was it like twenty thirty. Uh, I think actually I think it is, it may be twenty thirty because the last no twenty twenty nine, the last of the baby boomers. They're such a large generation; their years spanned eighteen years. The last of the baby boomers turn 65 in 2029. And it's either 2030, it's either 2029 or 2035, right? Somewhere around there where you will have 70 million baby boomers pulling from Social Security. And just not not only that, but more so retired. So, yeah, so you're going to have 70 million of these people pulling from Social Security who have left the economy and are no longer working. That's a massive number of people. And there are no general, and you know, Gen Z is not, cannot replace them. Gen Z is basically dropping out of society in the sense that they're demanding things and they're living off the government and they're pestering society, but they're not picking, Gen Z is not picking up the tab on this one. So all of that tax money is going to go away. The boomers are basically going to be charging other younger generations for everything while they're hoarding their wealth. So they'll be hoarding all of their wealth, stingy as hell, looking for every possible way to spend other people's money, having their kids and their kids' kids pay for their social security, their pensions, and all of these other funds, right? Their Medicare. And all the while, the tax revenue will have substantially fallen. Because they'll have dropped out of society. So the burden of everything will, the entire burden will be on the on their children who have the lowest amount of wealth. And, and the millennials, as I've said, especially older millennials, they can't keep going. They've lived this way for too long. They're breaking down. They're just going, eventually they're just going to give up. You know, they're only going to do just enough to survive. And that's it. Like the name of the game will be survival, especially with AI. 
they're just going to do just enough to survive, but they're not going to push any more than that because they physically can't do that. It's like with the millennials, it's like they've worked twice the number of years. You know, they put in the hard work all throughout their 20s and their 30s and now into their 40s. And the boomers are like, okay, well, just keep on working. Just keep on working. And the body can't keep on going. The mind cannot keep on going. You know, they've missed all of these intervals. They're not going to have, many of them or most of the, um, them are not going to have children. They're not going to create a family unit. They're not going to have any of these things. So why would you keep going? Why would you, what? Uh, because you, you owe it to your, you owe it to their, you owe it to the boomers. And who, and what do the boomers owe anyone? What have the boomers ever done for anyone? Oh, you don't like old people. Do you see how the society is? People are just going to walk away. Gen Z is already done, and Gen Alpha is going to be a large prison population. Don't forget, guys, I have another channel called Angry Where I Discuss Gaming, Anime, Geek Stuff, Nerd Stuff, Real World Stuff, and whatever else interests me. There's a link to the description of the video. Go check the channel out. Subscribe to my channel. Support my work. If you're enjoying the content on this channel and you want even more of this content, head over to my Men Walking Away channel where I release daily videos. There's a link to the Men Walking Away channel in the description of the video. Go check it out. Subscribe. Guys, what do you think regarding all of this stuff? You know, she never loved you. She never loved you. You know, this is the reality of it that men have to ex accept that no matter how hard you work on yourself, you're only working on yourself to be a beta male provider to, 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 to most modern women. A lot of these guys, they go to the Philippines and they meet a Filipina and they guarantee that the Filipina loves them. This, you know, there was a video I made where this lawyer in the Philippines basically warned about how much you can lose during divorce. And there was a simp in my comment basically saying that this lawyer is lying and don't believe her because he's in a relationship with a Filipina. And the Filipina told him that it's not true. And it's like he can't put two and two together and realize that his Filipina is lying to him so that she can marry him and take and take his wealth. But this is how this is how these men are. And that's one of the lessons that you have to learn as men, like to be very cautious of simps because a simp will cost you everything. And then when the simps lose things, they come back and they want to cry to other men. Why are there so many simps in the manosphere? Why are they watching my videos? It's simple because they have nowhere else to go. They have these men. The reason why they're on this channel is because society in and of itself has become so hostile for men. That the Sims have nowhere else to go but to come that to come here. Because anywhere else they go, it's hostility. So that's why they're here. Let me know what you guys think about everything we discussed. We'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA and walking away. And cheers.